before last year, before the attention and Bauche trials came out, uh, we had two studies, best and, and basics, which were randomized trials looking at thrombectomy uh, in the basilar artery territory. And uh, they did not show uh, significant effect with respect to, you know, functional uh, improvement with thrombectomy versus medical management. Um, but those trials had some limitations uh, and we needed to, you know, explore uh, what other opportunities were there for patients who um, uh, underwent uh, thrombectomy in larger and uh, probably more rigorously designed trials. And so but, uh, Tension and Bauche uh, looked at that and confirmed that there is benefit of thrombectomy uh, in this patient population. But, you know, more importantly, we, we did this analysis uh, with an international um a uh, cohort of uh, stroke doctors, interventionalists, and, and non-proceduralist clinicians uh, who practice stroke uh, to see how the best and the basics trials affected medical management and, and stroke decision-making in this patient population. And the majority of respondents, of over 1,100 respondents, more than 90% of them uh, would treat patients with acute basal artery occlusion with thrombectomy. Uh, so it's nice to see that those decisions are supported by the recent trials from 2022. Um, and it's unclear how much of an impact that may make since we are already taking many of these patients to thrombectomy, but I'm hopeful that uh, the patients uh, who might have not been considered eligible in the past are now being considered for treatment.